Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers and this morning I'm looking at a book from Routledge who are the leading legal textbook publishers. Um, they're people I've used on many occasions both as a student and as a teacher and I find them excellent publications. This particular book that we're looking at is this one here, International Trade Law Statutes and Conventions 2013 to 2015. There's a companion website to go with this uh, book. It's now in a third edition and it's been written by Indira Carr and Miriam Goldby. And this is the book here. Let's take it down. You can see it's a paperback. It's quite heavy. It's the spine and there's the back. And it runs to six, nearly 700 pages. You've got a very detailed index at the back. What you do have, of course, is very substantial information. Just taking, I'll just take something from the middle. Um, international carriage of goods. There we go, right in the middle. You see, it's very, very heavy on copy. And it's obviously all the information that you actually need. The contents at the front will set out exactly what you might be looking for, depending on your uh, type of studies. You can see where they are coming from there. Then there's a very substantial number of acknowledgements and then there's a preface which is always worth reading just to get an idea of what the new amendments to the previous edition in, uh, actually contain. Then you've got a statute uh, list there and then you have the European Union materials and um, the conventions which you've got there. Then you go launch straight in to the actual uh, book itself, section one, and then you start off with the Bills of Exchange Act of 1882. So you can see how useful it is. It's got a lot of stuff for anybody studying um, international trade. Uh, it probably will be helpful for those doing the bar exams, as I did when I did my module on international trade uh, rather too many years ago now, <laughs> longer than I care to remember. Let me say this about the book. We've written a uh, review for it, which is on the web and in the journals, and <clears throat> we've given it this title. For time-poor students, all the key legislation for international trade law compiled in a single volume, and that's what you're getting with Routledge with this title. So for the student of international law, or indeed the occasional international lawyer or two, this book from Routledge, which is part of the Taylor and Francis group, is a real find. The authors who I mentioned, Indira Carr and uh, Miriam Goldby, are both law professors and have created a handy and time-saving research resource aimed at making the study of international trade law a little less strenuous for students. Their achievement is to have tracked down and collected from at least 80 sources, as far as we can count, all the key legislation for international trade law and compiled it into a single volume. Uh, do you, don't you have to, one might uh, add to, to that. The resulting collection of legislation is up to date, tailored to, courses, uh, to course outlines, exam friendly and easy to use. They are, of course, documents, say the author, which are likely to be referred to in any standard course on the subject of international trade law. And it's also mentioned that these materials will be useful for those studying commercial law and carriage of goods. And obviously, you could see it started off with the uh, bills of exchange. <laughs> Students are thus offered access to materials that otherwise might not be immediately accessible <clears throat> or available. It's presented in a handy paperback format and is a useful volume of almost 700 pages, as I've indicated, containing five sections to include statutes, statutory instruments, European Union materials, conventions, and there are over 40 of those, and rules and model laws, six of these sourced from the UN Citral. In addition, there are almost 40 additional pages of similar materials at the front of the book. For further ease of use, there is an index of over 20 pages at the back, which I showed at the beginning, making it reasonably easy to look at particular items of information. 
It's important, I think, to note that this is the third edition of uh, a very useful work of reference, which attests to its popularity and expertise of the authors. Uh, now, Indira Carr is Professor of Law at the University of Surrey, and Miriam Goldby is Lecturer in Insurance and Commercial Law at Queen Mary University of London. Interestingly, they have developed the book in response to feedback from both lecturers and learners to produce a text that is suitable for examination use. Remember, we do, are in the era now of open book for some um, <coughs> examinations, and obviously it's very useful to know your way around the book. The tip there is to know how, where the index is and, and to, to get a bit of practice beforehand before you go into the examination hall. Um, <coughs> do note that there's also a companion website <coughs> which is well worth looking at and exploring because they do keep that up to date and this is one of the innovations with um, the Routledge uh, titles and very much the sort of teaching materials we're going to be expecting and seeing more of I think in the next few years. So let me conclude by saying that if you're a student of international trade law this book does offer you a clear advantage particularly in the run-up to the examinations. The collection contains material available to the authors as at the 1st of June 2013. And I'll just remind you of what the book looks like again. It's very useful if you're allowed to take these books in. It's quite heavy, at the back again. And then you can see in the middle, I'll just go into the middle, these are regulations. You can see how detailed it is. Now clearly when you're doing the exam, you're not going to have a lot of time to start fiddling around. So the key, as I've said, is to know your way around the index. Certainly also it's quite useful if, if you're looking at contents and the statutes to know what you're looking for because you can't take marked copies in but you can obviously use this if, if you need to <coughs> in the examination hall. Let me thank Routledge very much again for this book, for the companion website and to the authors for providing such useful and, and strong information for us uh, as we uh, pursue our studies. Thank you to all concerned. Bye-bye.